Wait, I did see a comment on the uh, on the video of uh, multiple Eggman actors saying snooping as usual. I see, and freaking uh, his official YouTube channel commented on one of them. They're saying like, can't believe Mike Pollock finally got to say that. And they had he mentioned his clip from Sonic Boom. He was like, this is the first time I finally got paid for it too. <laughs> I can't believe they paid me to say this. They paid me to say this, you know. Yeah. That's another thing to mention. Sonic Boom the cartoon. It's not that bad. It's not bad, although I don't really want to go in and try to watch it. It has its moments, though. And, well, it does make fun of the Sonic series a good bit. Yeah. And that's I something I can inherently... I don't know the one episode. I just remember there was one line the Amy's voice actress said as Amy was someone like... I don't appreciate all of Oh, so fuck those People need to have more original ideas. They can't be re remaking the same IP over and over again. And the rest of Sonic characters are just staring at her and be like, uh... <laughs> Amy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I hate that fucker. <laughs> yeah, I hate that enemy. It's like you hear a spin dash, you're like, wait, what is that? <gasps> Why don't I have that ability in this game? <sighs> Maybe that's, that's where they got the idea from. Maybe. Which I think they say in official lore that Tails was the one that taught Sonic how to spin dash. For some reason. I'm talking about the, uh... Developers, but... Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully that'll be where they go. I just know official lore they say that Tails is the one that taught Sonic how to spin dash. How did you do it? Probably with his Tails. Yeah, and Sonic taught Tails how to use his Tails to fly! Illogically. Seriously? Yes. Huh. They said so they say Sonic came up with the idea for him to use his tails for flight, and uh, yeah, so it happened. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> god damn this world! It's logical bullshit. I guess I can also talk about um, what you inherently think of Sonic universe as a whole when it comes to like you know the multiple characters and all that thing. Mm. Oh yes, ever since Adventure, there's been a lot of annoying characters coming in. There's... I like more than half of them. Some of them don't need to exist. Which ones do you think don't need to exist? Easiest one I can say at the top of my head. Any can any character that came from Sonic X. Ah. Any character from that could go fucking burn. And if anybody tries to mention that character from Season 3, fuck you! The only good thing that came out of, Son of Season 3 of Sonic X was Dark Super Sonic. God damn it. You know what sound kind of cool now I think about it? Yes. When you think of... Uh... Oh, then again, it kind of touched on that with Metal Overboard. But oh, Super okay. Metal Sonic? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, if you get to the end of the Knuckles campaign in uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles... Where do I go? Oh... Yep, just follow. I don't remember the special stage. You probably remember better than I would. You would think that. And maybe you're right, but... You know this game a little better than I do. I really just went through it just to get through it. I didn't really remember shit. Lost. Thankfully, you can tell by the general pattern where, like, tunnels to the goal may be. Oh, God. No, no, no. I don't want to come back here. I'm trying to go forward, God damn it! Don't do this to me! Meh! What am I fighting for? Not even close to the wrong, right series. Ah! Oh, that's a deceiving little dick. Yeah, another one. Damn. Yeah, that's the way I feel. Yep, you can always tell when that they cut you off right towards yeah. the end. Fortunately, though, getting these chaos emeralds are easy because the um, what you call it, are so tightly off packed. Yeah. Man, you do a lot better this than I do. I sucked at these. I'm surprising I'm doing as well as I am. What's going to suck is I going that if I do things as well as I do, I'm gonna have five. I missed the second one. Well, don't, it'll keep doing the second stage once you get to that. I know I hate the second stage the most. Yeah, second stage is pretty brutal. I never liked that one. Oh, fifth stage I think is. Oh wait, you just did the fifth stage. Sixth one I think is the easiest. Ironically. Sixth stage is really easy. You like fall right onto it. You just have to go through a shitload of blocks. Yeah. It's like the third stage, but not as open. I'm surprised I'm doing as well as I am. Yeah, you're doing very well. Like damn. I was kind of thinking you might have, like, three by the time you got through this world. You have freaking four. Man. Yeah, I know. I like, the like... idea was actually, you know, finish everything by the time we go to, um, 
spring guards on so I don't have to give a shit anymore. Yeah. But you know. I mean, yeah, that would be that, That's the ideal. That's the ideal way to do it. Just get it as soon as you can. Like, that's the this whole This game point. is the most strict with all the getting all the Chaos Emeralds, so... Yeah. The fact that you're doing as well as you are is very impressive. Yeah, that's because I spent so much time playing these damn, uh... Optional stages. Woof. Yeah. Yeah, I did, thanks to level-selected debug mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, debug mode. I have so much fun with you. What? It reminds me, since we were talking about Sonic Mania earlier, you know one of the, uh... There was a uh, Sonic 1 modder who passed away, unfortunately, who lived on in uh, Sonic Mania, right? What's the name? Uh, Polygon Jim, I think. I feel like I heard that name. He did a mod for this game of uh, being able to play as one of the uh, play as a motobug. Oh yeah, I heard about and, that. And uh, a heavy rider rides a motobug that is actually named Jim. Earthworm Jim. Nah, that's the name. Oh yeah, I heard about that yep. actually. They moralized him in the game because he was another famous Sonic modder. I will say though, there's as much crap there. as I give Sonic, there's a lot of things I don't inherently know, and in some ways I do would like to I would like to open up and listen to it. There's, there's a dark, there's a lot of there's a very annoying and dark of, side of this fan base, but the truly dedicated ones and the ones that really the one, love Sonic, the, true, the ones with the lot of the ones with the real heart actually do have a lot to offer. Oh yeah, and it's interesting to see what. It, is. Yeah. I still say Sonic is one of my top five favorite franchises, despite what a lot of people say. I like I said, it's my third, like, like I said. Like, there are Frank, like I said, um, when it comes to franchises, nothing will ever beat the Mega Man franchise for me. Of course. I am a diehard Mega Man Understandable. fan, no matter what. I've been loving it a lot recently, too. It's in my top ten already. Yeah. Just been playing it recently. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Get out of here! What?! I think your role might have ended. If only this game actually had a legitimate spin dash. Okay, fuck you. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Yeah, leave. Yeah, leave very, now. well then again, my very and first now. my very first Sonic game ever was It was Sonic 2 and Sonic Chaos on the uh, Game Gear. But um the one I treasure the most was one I had early on as well. Sonic 3 and Knuckles on PC. Yeah. That's that the one that it. truly got me into Sonic. Then I got Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. For me? Uh, oh. the very first Sonic game I ever played, Sonic Adventure 2. Mm -hmm. And I never looked back. That was my, uh, that was my one right after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And then I got Sonic Mega Collection, and I was like, alright, I officially love this franchise. Yeah. For me, it was a case of, I need some time to open up and see this series, because there's a lot of... Then again, I can... Then again, it feels like, um... No, 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 Sorry. Faker. I think you're the fake around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh, you're not even good enough to be- I think you eat those words! Fake. I think those words! God. Look right. me back on it. I used to love the voice actor of that game, and I look back on it, and was like, I oh, love God. to. No, I love it for a different reason. <laughs> I mean, of course. <laughs> it's a reason you're to like X4's voice acting. Yeah, it's like, you have to remember. It sounds so cheesy, but it kind of adds to its charm. It's like, it's a different kind of charm. Yes. Memorable. Yes. It may sound stupid, but some people like, like I said, it, it like a little commit. It's like a little comedic flair in a way. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> Not bad for an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to. The get ultimate to life form. <laughs> what am I fighting for? Wait, boss. <laughs> <laughs> may as well be the same one. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> no, he, the way he acts, it may as well be. Oh God. But yeah, I had that strange dream again. I don't remember what I am. Or what I'm fighting for. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. Pingus! Oh, sorry, right. I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone tries to break the fourth wall and he's here. Pingus! <laughs> I don't know, for some reason it's uh, I hear another voice. It sounds vaguely familiar to Pingus! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Just remember, get up, get down with the Pingus. Oh, get dick! Get down with the Pingus! Fuck you. Oh, God. I remember that was one of the first jokes I came up with you with. Yes. Get up, get down with the Pingus. Oh, yeah, never mind. I guess another thing about Sonic. What do you think about the side Sonic games? What would those include if you don't? I mean, stuff like a lot of the Game Gear ones, like Drift and, uh, <clears throat> Labyrinth. I guess those ones, eh. <laughs> 
I mean, I never played any of the good ones. Drift is basically like a weak Very Super boring. Mario Kart clone. Yeah. The best, um, but I will admit this much. Sonic as a racer has actually been shown that it actually works thanks to Sega All-Stars Racing. Yes, those ones are good. Yeah. I haven't played any of them. I played one I on phone because like I got it for free. There's a lot of games I actually like to buy. Maybe not to play. Maybe one day I'll go out, I'll sit down and play them. But yeah, I know I know Transform of, has Vise in it. Yeah, that one I actually really like. I also like... I they know remember also, him! I'm just glad I'm just glad <laughs> they also have um, What's-His-Face from Shenmue and uh, What's-His-Face from Yakuza. Yeah, it shows that um, Sega does remember their franchises. Yeah, because this is actually my second favorite franchise, actually, because right now my favorite franchise... is Mega Man. Or Sega related. No, from Sega related, I mean, uh, when it comes to Sega, well, yes, my favorite franchise obviously is Mega Man, but when it comes to like Sega, right, right, Sega right. franchises, this is actually my second favorite. Oh. Because my favorite is actually the Yakuza series. Makes because sense. Because all those games have been consistently great. That's true. And yes. its protagonist is probably one of the most badass and uh, coolest people I've ever seen. Yeah. In the form of, um, what's his face, Cosmic Hero. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I do. He, like I like um I heard a little bit about the Yakuza series and I'm like that's okay, but after seeing what what Cosma is like, it's like it's so cool to have like a badass character like that. And it's like I know Sonic was like that, but then afterwards it kind of like shot himself in the own foot, especially yeah. with some of the latest games. So that's why I kind of like I'm a little bit more hesitant when it comes to um um what you call it the Sonic series. Right. But it's like you think you'd ask me like, well, Mega Man X did the same thing inherently, right? Well, yes, yeah. but. A it lot did of redeem game, itself by the end. It thankfully. did redeem itself at the end with the other, like, um, Zero series and the ZX series. Oh, yeah, the one that, uh, Inafune actually wanted to do. Yeah. Well, not the ZX series, but definitely the Zero series. Yeah. Maybe he did want to do the ZX series, but I'm not sure. Was he a part of that or no? I don't know. Huh. I should probably look that up. Yeah. But, yeah. I, like I said. Like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, with Sonic, it's like. His identity has been shifted all over the goddamn place. Yeah. It's kind of overwhelming in some regards. He does have a good identity that people tend to stick with, but. I respect his, like, former identity. Yeah. In comparison to something like, say. Oh! That timing fucking dick! Pengus! <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. New Pengus usual, I see. <laughs> it's new Pengus usual! <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. Although there are some things I do love from the Sonic series, despite how cringy it is. Yeah. That would be one of them. Oh, of course. The cartoons. I know there was one good cartoon. Yeah. I forget what it is, though. I try to remember. Was it the... One... It wasn't the Adventures I know of Sonic the Hedgehog. Fit. That one was like a cartoony one that was very, like, Saturday morning cartoon-like for kids. And Sonic X, ugh. There is one thing I would like the Sonic series to try. And this is something that I make a tease at this, saying that it's the best Sonic game that I never played. But mm. Freedom Planet. Ah. There's one thing in the Freedom Planet games that I do inherently like that makes me like the idea of going through a speedy game more. I know this game is inherently a combination of speed and skill. Yeah.